And no, you can still hear the mower. Sorry about that. So here's our devotional for Saturday, May 18th, 2019. Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Psalm 29, 1 and 2. We were born to worship. If we are not worshiping God in the beauty of holiness, we have missed our reason for being born. I embrace the idea that worship is the delightful, awesome, humbling, wonderful experience that we can have in varying degrees. It does not take a building to create worship. If you burn down the church building and drive away all the people, you have not disturbed Christian worship at all. Keep a Christian from entering the church sanctuary and you have not in the least bit hindered his worship. We carry our sanctuary with us. We never leave it. We do not enter into a building and then commence to worship. If you are not worshiping God on Monday morning as you worshiped him the day before, perhaps you are not worshiping him at all. When Christians lose their love for God, they become sick. The lack of worship as a natural, spontaneous, and continual thing is a sure sign of spiritual sickness. One generation lets this slip a little. It affects the next generation and the next until there is no real, overwhelming desire to worship God. Then worship has to be created from the outside, but that is never true worship. Let all mortal flesh keep silence, and with fear and trembling stand. Ponder nothing earthly-minded. For with blessing in his hand, Christ our God to earth descendeth, our full homage to demand. 4th century Greek, English translation by Gerard Moultrie, M-O-U-L-T-R-I-E. Dear God, I come before you in fear and trembling and experience you as you long to share yourself. Let me know in the beauty of thy... What? 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 Let me know you in the beauty of thy blessed holiness. Amen. Wow. That's good stuff. I mean, I just, I don't know if anybody else can appreciate it. I wish that Tozer was still alive because I want to, like, meet him and just tell him how awesome this is for me. I mean, especially when if you're having your time with the Lord and everything. These are just really good because they really bring back, you know, the 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 desire to get to know him more. Oh, now I remembered what I was going to say. I'm terrible anymore. Oh my goodness. Um, what I was going to say is this. Um, I've heard it before, you know, different, uh, people at different, uh, pastors or people had mentioned this, you know, if you, you know, only had one meal a week, you know, some people go to church once a week. Okay. I go to church three times a week, but if I only had three meals a week, man, I'd probably have starved to death by now. <laughs> but man, we got to just as we need our physical food, we need our spiritual food. You know, some people eat 3 times a day or 2 times a day or 6 times a day or whatever the case may be, but we need our spiritual food even more than we need our physical food. Praise God. So, may the Lord bless you all and be with you till tomorrow.